Hey guys, what is up? It's Duncan, and today I'm going to be beginning a new series of videos showing you exactly how to customize Windows Vista to basically however you want. Um, I have started specifically for this a new profile, and uh, basically I'm going to be showing you guys how to do themes, how to change settings, a lot of different things to really make Vista pop, and really make it unique. Um, now, I will just say this real fast some of these things I will show you will not work on Windows 7 and Windows XP you really uh, what I'm showing you is for Vista and Vista only some things may work but really uh, don't try to do something that's made specifically for Vista on your XP computer and don't come to me when it crashes just wanted to throw that out there anyway so I'm going to be showing how to make uh, not how to make, but how to add a custom theme to Vista. So let's get this one started. Okay, so let's get this one started. The first thing I want you to do is go over into the s description, and I want you to go ahead and hit the page that will link you to how to download Vista Glass. I just happen to have it right here, so I'll go ahead and open it up. Vista Glass is basically what enables you to use the custom themes. Now, and I'm sure you've seen in both Vista and XP that there is a themes uh, along with beside, if you go into and you can see like uh, your desktop and your screen server and there's just themes, but you really can't do anything. Well, the reason is is that Microsoft basically locks it down. You they don't they just say basically no, you just can only use ours. You can download occasionally uh, a theme from Microsoft, but really it's it's pretty rare. So basically what this does is Vista Glass. It's a really simple program. It basically runs and basically allows you to install whatever custom theme you want. And in a moment I will show you how you do this. So basically it's real simple. Um now, a uh, real quick I just do want to say uh this is not it is not. It's it's almost like jailbreaking. Uh, I mean, there's a very slight bit of risk, but it's but just like a jailbreak. There's you have a little bit of risk, but it's simple enough to back it up. Um, really, you shouldn't have any problems at all. I mean, so basically, I just want is what you want you to do is just go ahead and just you definitely read through. And this does work for service pack one, two, and uh, if you don't have service pack which I don't know why you wouldn't but uh, it, so it works for all Vista don't worry and basically just download it and you'll be set okay so once you have taken your computer you've restarted it and uh, everything is uh, the programs run totally through you know you're all set and you restart it okay now what you need to do is you need to find a theme um, find whatever theme you want um, I will just say real quickly if you are running Windows base Vista basic like I am you will not add a, you will not be able to run arrow or at least uh, that's that's another I won't want, I don't want to get into that right now but basically right now you will not be able to run any arrow and if you don't know what arrow is it is the transparent windows where you can see obviously you can see through everything um, you will not be able to run any themes like that. Um, like I said, I might get into that in a later video, but just just a heads up. So if you try to download one of those themes, it either will not work or it could be buggy because it's not made for. So basically, look for something in the description that says like Vista Basic. Anyway, okay, so let's go ahead and what you need to do is find whatever. Once you found it, download it as a zip file and and you will unzip it. Let me just show you where to unzip it. Go into your computer, go into your C drive, and it should be C drive wherever you're. Your, wherever your whole uh wherever Vista is installed, whatever drive you uh have it on. And well, let's go into the Windows file and see if I can get down here. And then go ahead and open up a resources. And then you'll see themes. This is where you will do it. So like let's say I've got uh this next level whatever. I unzip it and I say put it into Windows Resources Themes. Or you can obviously just drag it in right here. And make sure you don't accidentally drag it into another file in here, although there probably won't be because you haven't done anything yet. But anyway, so now once you've done that, like now some themes are a little odd, they're not quite right, but basically what you do is I'll show you on this Windows 7 theme. 
and you see there's a bunch of stuff you basically need to ignore everything but the theme now sometimes these will actually not work because they didn't properly structure them right like see here now you have to ignore this and now this can kind of be a little tricky because basically you have to keep going until you see a whoops you have to go into a folder that basically has this file the en-us the shell file wallpaper doesn't have to be there and it's going to have a windows visual style file and that is what will uh that's what you will hit and basically what you do is you just click on this and i will do it in just one second and that will install the theme for you so i'm just going to go ahead and show you guys you double click it and then now your appearance will set up now normally you'll see the the different things but if you scroll down to the bottom you see now i have a windows 7 and well that's always got something that pop up vista so now you see the windows 7 now some themes will this will change some will not and basically what you do is you will hit apply and do it now i will pause the video right now because it will lag like crazy so one second okay guys so here we go now you can see everything looks different like down here um now some themes will need to be tweaked like this one definitely does but I'll just go ahead now you X out. Um now if you see these, your any windows that you had open will kinda go blank or whatever. That's fine, that's normal, don't worry about that. Anyway, so now you can see that down here the taskbar is much bigger, you see that, you see that you can go in here, you see all this different. You can see like this is little uh this is there's there's always gonna be some problems. Not always, but a lot of the time. But uh basically you see that you've got it. Um there's not a whole lot else. You uh, tweak it like, like let's say, like I want these to be smaller. I mean, to be larger. I mean, it's very simple, just to make them large icons, and you can change everything. But basically, you can see that I've got a fully custom theme run running. Anyway, I'll have more on how to customize later. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, guys.